what's going on there guys we back with another one and we saw e40 get removed from game one of the golden state warriors sacramento king series now 40 has been a fixture in 49ers and warriors games you know if no one else is going to be there as an entertainer you're going to see e40 at every single game especially if it's anywhere in california anywhere like that he's going to be at all those games well, he got kicked out, and the reason was a little unclear when you first just watched the video, but he released a full statement about the incident, and he said, on Saturday night, I was subjected to disrespectful heckling over the course of the Warriors-Kings game in Sacramento. During the fourth quarter, I finally turned around and addressed one heckler in an assertive but polite manner. Yet, shortly thereafter, King Security approached me and assumed that I instigated the encounter and proceeded to kick me out of the arena. Unfortunately, it was yet another reminder that despite my success and accolades as a musician and entrepreneur, racial bias remains prevalent. Security saw a disagreement between a black man and a white woman and immediately assumed that I was at fault. I attended countless NBA games throughout my lifetime and have always prided myself in professionalism. So this experience has been jarring. I was absolutely humiliated by the King's security team and I'm calling on the franchise to investigate the appalling conduct that transpired. I'm truly grateful for my fans and supporters who have reached out to express their concern and disappointment regarding these disheartening circumstances. I hope those involved are held accountable for their behavior. So E40 is saying, you know, this is another classic case of pretty much a Karen going in on him over and over again and him turning around and letting it be known look i don't appreciate this and speaking with authority you know she probably signaled for the security to come over and they instantly went in on e40 i find this crazy man just from the standpoint that 40 like you know who 40 is and 40 as a fan has been you like we've never seen him involved in anything other than cheering for his team he even makes friendly bets with other fans when he's going on the road and e40 is pretty reasonable from everything we've seen like it's documented you could see his interaction in the crowd over the years and he's just simply there rooting for his team and for this to happen it shouldn't happen nowhere in the state of california you know what i'm saying like everybody knows who e40 is i believe e40 in this I believe E40 in this. You'll see people get drunk in the games. They'll start going overboard. And I'm pretty sure E40 was provoked to a point where he says something. And I feel like that was this young lady's goal um, to get him, I ain't want to say out of character, but to get him to respond. An investigation must be had now. I mean, this isn't just somebody that comes to games looking for trouble or anything. He's rooting for his team. She's probably calling them all out his name, uh, crossing that line of disrespect, and just thinking he wasn't going to say anything back. And this is not good optics, you know, with it being a white woman. You instantly go in on the black man. That's why E-40 was so demonstrative in the video that we saw. Uh, he was... That, that's very offensive. I don't know if people, people of like, if you're watching this and you're another race, it's very offensive for us to be having an incident, a debate, a back and forth, and a person of authority, law enforcement or whatever, comes over and instantly goes at us and kind of just leaves leaves a white person unchecked. That's one of the most offensive things that can happen to us. So I want y'all to think about this for a second. If E-40 had to go through that, think about how much worse it is for the average everyday person like us when we get into these altercations. And normally, I'm talking about civilized people. Now, normally we've taken a little bit more than we should 
leading up to to the altercation right but when it hits that point it's there and so when we speak our mind i've even seen it go to where someone of a different race speaks their mind and when we start to speak back and this is just from personal experience you're looked at as threatening not as someone who can just voice you haven't balled your fists up anything but not as someone you're not seen as someone who can just voice their feelings back you're seen as a threat a violent threat that needs to be um i don't want to say terminated but needs to be removed from the situation at once but it wasn't a problem when they were digging at you and i've had the cops called on me um before my daughter was two my wife was outside playing with her and um you know it wasn't bothering the the person or anything but somehow the person just approached them and, and started calling my daughter stupid or something you know and i don't care what else transpired i went out there just to check on calling my daughter stupid and to see if where we want to take this thing from here next thing i know the police are called because i went out there seeing about someone calling my daughter stupid so i say i just tell that story just to say like you get called for checking on things you should check on nobody ain't about to call my daughter stupid if i'm there even though this even though it's a totally different scenario i'm just saying security police y'all need to really check the facts out and get more information from both sides don't just come aggressive at an e40 you know just because you see a much smaller white lady going at him or him going at a much smaller white lady and think he's just going to do it unprovoked you got to use your brain on that but hey man let me know what you guys think about this in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace